Peter, can you talk us through the feeling of finally getting the shield? Yeah, well, I was, uh, Phil from the SCG Trust was giving me a rundown actually on, on how it ended up being here. So, um, although it wasn't specifically brought here for us, we'll take it. Um, it's, we haven't actually got our hands on that yet. Um, but, you know, it's, it's just great to have this opportunity to, to finally celebrate um, you know, shield number 47 for New South Wales. Um, I know all the players are thrilled to have this opportunity, so thank you to the SDG Trust and um, all those involved for making it happen. Um, but yeah, very, very chuffed to, to have it within our grasp again. Obviously, it probably wasn't the way that you wanted to finish the season and the way you wanted to win it, but does it feel just as special? It does. Um, yeah, I remember saying at the time, like, there was certainly no hollow feeling about it. Um, you know, we've been awarded the shield because we dominated the season. We won twice as many games as the next place team. So um, I think it's, you know, that kind of performance, it's it's pretty rewarding, um, you know, whether you get to play in a final or not. But, you know, in the context of, of things in the world, we certainly won't be complaining about that. Did you already have a little celebration? Um, I did for quite a while on my couch while I didn't leave the house for a long time. And, um, yeah, I, it's, it's something I've reflected on a lot. Um, you know, it's the culmination of a lot of hard work from a lot of people and um, a big squad, a lot of staff um, who all had an impact on getting us there. So um, taking that time to reflect and, yeah, enjoying um, some isolation time myself, uh, yeah, I suppose I have celebrated it. You mentioned the current climate, um, obviously what's happening particularly down, down in Melbourne in terms of the impact going forward, uh, potentially maybe more games in Sydney if, if it continues to, coronavirus continues to continue in Melbourne. Yeah, who knows? I mean, we've obviously got a fair bit of time up our sleeve, so that's uh, fortunate in one sense that we'll you know, be able to plan um, as best we can as to how we progress, um, but we'll be you know, as adaptable as we need to be um, to ensure we can, we can play. And you know, whether that's a, a, a hub at the SCG where we play all our games at the SCG, I'm more than open for that. Um, we'll see how it all pans out. Um, I think Daniel Hughes and Harry Conway are probably the two that really stand out for me. Uh, Harry Conway just continually improving, taking his game to, to a new level. Um, and to see him rewarded the way he was uh, with a lot of wickets, Fifers, uh, Australia A was being in included in that squad um, as a replacement player. Um, to see his progress over the last few years, um, you know, it's a credit to our, our coaching staff and, and the players that have, have worked really hard with him. I know Trent Copeland's one that's you know, really try to help Harry, um, you know, take his game to where it is now. And, um, when you see people, uh, you know, improve that way and, um, you know, develop their skills to the point where they're, you know, challenging for, for potentially Australian selection, um, it's just really great to see. You've got such a deep, uh, deep stuff of bowlers, young batters, experienced heads, international players. Could this be a bit of a dynasty, or the start of a dynasty for this? I'm happy for you to write that. Um, <laughs> oh, look, who knows? Let's, um, let's worry about backing this up and hopefully winning another Shield this year. Just with what Matt was saying before with the impact of the coronavirus, could it actually be a positive thing for the Shield if there's not as much international cricket play? Could you see that strength of this competition grow? Yeah, who knows? Um, I certainly won't be um, grateful for a pandemic, but, um, you know, I'm... I'm I'm grateful that we are in the position we're in with cricket, that we have, as I said before, some time up our sleeve to, to make sure that we can get all the protocols that need to be in place in place, that our season can happen um, and fingers crossed international cricket this, this summer happens as well.